Welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Omar Bailey. I'm a student here at the University of Texas at San Antonio, otherwise known as UTSA. I am a super senior. My major is communications. I don't currently have a minor, but I do mostly take business management courses. So that's just kind of a little bit of my student bio, but I'm gonna go ahead and share with you all a hero story I would like. So I used to work at a place called McCoy's Building Supply. It was my very first job. I had a friend who also worked there. Now the friend, he wasn't as hard of a worker as me, so that led to me being a supervisor there. He was still a bit young and naive, and he just needed some coaching, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So I ended up progressing to being a supervisor because I would do all the necessary steps. I mastered how to operate a forklift, I had great communication skills with the customers. Overall, I just provided a pleasant experience for everybody when they would come through our doors. And I really enjoyed the job. It paid okay for an entry-level position. They started off at about $14 an hour. They did, I should say, they, they didn't require a forklift certification, but once you got there, you had to be forklift certified. And that's something that I gained, which I brought to other careers, but I'll save that for another story. So I basically jumped through all the necessary hoops to become one of the better people at the workplace. And my friend, I'm gonna not say his name, let's just call him Dan for this incident. Dan, not so much. Dan was somebody who would come to work, he would fall asleep, literally fall asleep on a forklift. He would also eat, camp out in the toilet. I'm trying not to throw him under the bus, thus my facial expressions. But this overall, he just needed some guidance. So I would give him a pointers here and there. I would look out for him to make sure he wouldn't lose his job. And on top of that, he would just break things. But he just needed some help. So I would help out my friend Dan. There was one time he got stuck in the mud while operating a forklift and I had to get some chains and pull him out before our, my manager came by and saw what was going on thinking we were playing around. And I was able to do that. Unfortunately, he was able to keep his job that day. Now, eventually Dan told me that he wanted to join the U.S. Marines. And I thought that was an exceptional career to follow and pursue. So I told him, go for it. But before you do that, you need to man up. You can't be falling asleep on the job as a Marine. Otherwise, some really nasty stuff's gonna happen. So we talked and we talked and I would kind of coach him up. And he gradually became a better employee and after becoming a better employee, he kind of grew as a person. He ended up building better morals and values. He ended up coming to work, ready to go. And I think after about a year and a half, Dan ended up not going into the Marines, but he did get accepted into the U.S. Army, where he enlisted, and now he's proudly serving our country, which I'm very, very proud of him. So, from that experience, I learned that you need to pursue your dreams, but in order to do so, you need to make sure you're doing everything you can to get to where you need to go. For Dan, that meant not falling asleep on the job and just executing his daily routine as a worker. For me, I was able to see how I could guide people by teaching Dan what was necessary to get into the Marines or military in general. So since I've shared a story about how Dan was able to pursue his dreams and his goals, I'm gonna go ahead and share three of my goals, not for a career necessarily, but especially for this class, those kinds of goals. So my three goals, I want to capture the audience's attention. I want people to look at my videos, whether it's digital or listen to my public speaking and just be captivated and want them to be locked in on what I'm saying. I also want to not fumble on my enunciations. Sometimes I'll get a little startled if I say a word that has too many, what's the word, what's the word? 
See, that's what I'm talking about. Too many. Too many something. The blah blah blahs. Basically, I can't brain fart when I give my speeches. That's that's a prime example for you all right there. And then lastly, I want to master my nonverbal gestures. I want people to watch my videos or listen to my public speaking and look at whether it's my facial expressions, my hand gestures. I just want people to be captivated kind of like point number one by whatever I'm doing. So I thank you all for watching my video. I hope you subscribe if you I end up sticking with this YouTube video thing and hopefully my content will improve as I go on.